Hello lovelies, I welcome you to Sandra's Real Life. This is Sandra and this is my life. No faking. We do it as it is, guys. I'm from Ghana. Please, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you are new here, please do the favor by subscribing. I love you so much. I am currently at Kaswa. That's where I live in Ghana. Did I plan preparing banku? Yes, but when I had my corn dough from the fridge, I realized my cassava dough is finished. So I didn't know what to do. I asked my sister to get some from outside. She said they didn't come. So my sister was like, hey, then why don't we get some of the cassava from the backyard garden and prepare our own cassava dough? And I said, yes, that's a good idea. Then uh, I took my cutlass and went straight to my garden. And here we are, mm, harvesting my cassava by myself, you know. I love home garden. I do love home garden. When it's raining, I do plant maize, okra, pepper, and other stuff. So just look at me doing my own thing. As the saying always goes, what men can do, women can do it better. And I'm doing this, but can you see that? Yes perfectly done now we have our cassava our cassava let me check if there are some still inside the hole so after getting this one down yeah it wasn't many dough because looking at the size of the steak i thought it might be bigger by charlie it's not that big but we, we will use it like that yes i'm just checking if i can get more and i had another one inside a hey, small one after that, I planted the uh, cassava steak. And here am I. This is my sister over there. Yes, peeling the cassava. Then it's ready to prepare our cassava dough. This is the simplest way to prepare cassava dough at home. Mm. It's just simple. If you don't have uh, the corn dough in the house, uh, the puree, you can prepare it yourself if you have your cassava just like i'm doing and it is very simple this one you use just like five minutes or so to prepare this mm. after peeling everything you grate it grate it i remember when we were young our um my my auntie that i was staying with my auntie hmm, you know that time blender wasn't common like now so this is what we will do we will grate it and when we are done we grind it in the earthenware or ajua, asanka, earthenware. We grind it with our hands when we are done like this. But now, because there is blender, when we are done, we just put it in the blender and shum, it's finished. Then we have our cassava puree. So let's wait. But if your blender is very sharp, you don't need to go through all this stress. You just cut it into smaller sizes. Then you use the blender if you have very sharp one that my blender yet. Yeah, it's old blender, so it's not all that sharp. That's why we grated it first. Our cassava puree is done or cassava dough. We are going to add it to the condo and prepare our banku. I have banku video on the how we prepare banku in Ghana on this channel. So if you haven't watched it, you can watch that one and you'll be fine. So this is how we prepare cassava dough at home but the one they saw the market that one they use industrial machine they go to nika nika they, they, that big grinding machine to do it because it's in large quantity but you're in the house this is the simplest way to do it this is sandra's real life my name is sandra i'm from ghana i love you so much please keep watching the channel Thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, do me a favor by subscribing and then click on the notification bell. We will meet again on this same channel. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Wherever you are watching me from case case, I love you. Thank you for watching.